already passed the quarter way mark, but we're going to continue on as it's now time for week 5 of the 2020 DCFL season. So as we now take a look at the updates, stands in the Eastern Conference after four weeks. Jacksonville leads the Eastern Conference with Indianapolis number two. And Philadelphia surprisingly off to a strong start with the third seed, followed by Baltimore, Boston, and New York. Then the Western Conference, Chicago's just destroying everyone but with a two-game lead behind me ahead of Mexico City. And Oakland, followed by Seattle, San Diego, and Kansas City, even though Kansas City's actually a six seed. I don't know why it never got updated like that. So now here is the week five schedule, as I mentioned in the last episode, the last video. New York hosting Baltimore. That's going to be a big one. Then the huge one, the Eastern Conference, as Philadelphia visiting Indianapolis with the number one seed on the line, followed by Jacksonville visiting Boston. That's going to be big. And then in the Western Conference, we have San Diego visiting Kansas City. Maybe they'll finally get their first win. Then Chicago visiting Oakland in their first rematch from their playoff game last year. And then finally Mexico City visiting Seattle. A lot of big games on the line right here. And as the update game showed, as New York destroyed by Charm, 32-10 as that's back-to-back -back blowout losses I took. We're definitely not doing good this year. And then of course, to absolute no one's surprise, Philadelphia got showed that there are nobody as Indianapolis destroyed them 55 to 3 really putting them in their place and then Jacksonville beaten Boston 20 to 10 as they still maintain their lead in that division and then in the Western Conference divisional games we have San Diego beaten Kansas City as Kansas City choked another game back to back they had a 13 point lead at halftime. They choked it allowed San Diego to score 24 unanswered points as they're now 0 and 5 and yikes all five home losses They lost their five game home streak to start here every one of them That is incredible as San Diego now 2 and 3 followed by Chicago getting a revenge 31 to 16 over Oakland as they still remain undefeated and then Seattle beating Mexico City once again the exact same score that they beat San Diego by 14 to 13 as that bracket in the Eastern Com I mean Western Conference is, yikes, that is weird. And here is the updated the I mean, standings. As, of course, in the Eastern Conference, Jacksonville still leads over Indianapolis because of the tiebreaker. Philadelphia has the tiebreaker over New York and Baltimore. So that's why they're the third seed. New York has the tiebreaker. No, New York's the fourth seed. I have the tiebreaker over Boston earlier. So as I fall to the fifth, Boston's sixth. So New York, I mean, Philadelphia... Still would visit Indianapolis, and whoever win would face Jacksonville in the playoffs as the season ended today. And in the Western Conference, Chicago still maintained their dominant lead as a free game lead. And how about that? Seattle now, like the worst team in the league. They are not only in the playoffs, they would host Mexico City in the playoffs. That's crazy. Man, with Indianapolis leaving the Western Conference for the East, it really showed how bad the Western Conference is, especially since... Kansas City and Oakland all are choking this year. That's just crazy so far. So now we take a look at the week six, I mean week six schedule as it'll be the Arrowheads visit my charm. Oh God, I hope we don't lose that one. And then it'll be Indianapolis visit Mexico City, followed by Jacksonville visit San Diego. Then it'll be the New York Gangsters visit the Oakland Pillagers. That up, actually important matchup as the C Seattle Tenyo visit the Boston Red Jackets. One of them's going to be free and free, not bad to start the year off. And then how about the big matchup of the week is going to be Philadelphia visiting Chicago. Oof, they got destroyed by Indianapolis. I can only imagine how bad they'll get destroyed by Chicago. But then again, Chicago hasn't been winning very well so far this year. So that's going to be interesting to see. So week five is now in the books. I cannot wait. Hopefully probably again tomorrow for week six. So tune in next time for the next episode, week I mean to say, of the 2020 DCFL season.